Hey, this is Matthias Rengel, and today we're going to be checking out this really cool jazzy new solage progression. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons, and there's a link in the description, so make sure you tap or click on it to get the tab. Let's get down to it. So the first thing that I want to do, I want to play for you slowly, so let me play that. <laughs> Okay, so I would say um, I would like to divide this progression in a little uh, in two parts so we can learn it better. The first part it's, is obviously the chords. The second part is the final lick that I play, right? Which is actually super simple. I'm just playing it really fast. But anyway, so the first chord that I'm playing, we're going to go into the third fret from the fourth to the first and then you're going to play it the fifth fret of the first string but you're not going to play all the chord all the notes you're not going to do you're just doing and to me it's very important if you want to get this sound to kind of like mute it a little bit the sound right like put your hand there and go like a little bit like because, I mean, it's going to sound good like this also. But I think a little bit muted is better. Anyways, so for the first chord, you go there. Then what you're going to do, keep the finger and all the strings and just move it to the fifth fret and then bring the middle finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd and the ring finger on the 6th fret of the 1st. And you have that chord. And then you bring your pinky on the 8th fret of the 1st. Side, so... Pretty good, right? And then you go into an F major 7. For that, you're placing your index uh, finger on the 8th fret of the 5th string ring finger on the 10th fret of the 4th, middle finger on the 9th fret of the 3rd, and, and you're going to hammer on to the 10th fret of the 1st with the pinky. Then you remove the pinky and you press with your index, okay, with the index you're going to press the 8th fret of the 8th string, uh, sorry, the 8th fret of the 2nd string. This is definitely not an 8th string guitar, okay? <laughs> and then you go with the pinky on the 10th fret of the 3rd, and then remove the pinky, and naturally right there, the middle finger is playing the 9th fret of the 3rd, so, that's right. Really cool. From there, check this out, the first chord that we played, right, keep that in mind, right there. What you're going to do is you're going to take it here, to the 10th fret, okay, so remember that, we're going to go... So from there, we're going to repeat this, and we're going to take the first shape that we did into the 10th fret, and we're going to hammer on to the 12th fret of the 1st, and then you play the 10th fret of the 1st string, and with, your in, and with your pinky finger you play the 13th fret of the 2nd, then you remove it, and it's the 10th fret of the 2nd string, so, right? So, pretty cool, right? So, that's the basic of it. You repeat it, and check this out. You go back to this one, but now you do a run. So this is a bit, kind of like a pentatonic run, not entirely because he has an extra note that is not in the pentatonic, but it goes from this shape that we had, right? You're gonna do, well, I'm gonna start naming uh, the strings and the frets, okay? So you're gonna do 12th fret of the first string, right? 
10th fret of the first string, then you're going to go into the 13th fret of the second string, 10th fret of the second string, pentatonic from now on, right? 12th fret of the third string, 10th fret of the, th of the third string, 12th fret of the fourth string, 10th fret of the fourth string. And then same thing, 12th fret of the fifth string, 10th fret of the fifth string. So, right? Pretty cool. Now, different ways, as I was mentioning earlier, to play it is with uh, putting this side of the uh, right hand, if you're a righty, otherwise the left hand, if you're a lefty, is right. Um, putting it right there near the bridge. If you do it like that, okay. Another way to play it is to play it very softly around this area of the guitar, not really near the, the bridge, okay, around this area. And you go a little bit, it's, for this one you gotta be a little bit more careful because some of the strings are gonna sound. So maybe you want like a fret wrap or one of those things that stop the guitar, right? The stop the guitar strings or just develop the technique a little bit. You're gonna have to like mute some of the strings that are, that are you're not playing with this part of the hand here. Or you can also mute them with the finger right there. So you gotta get that sound. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. This is a really, really cool progression. You can take it to different chords and different situations and it's gonna sound awesome. And I hope you've enjoyed it. There's a link in the description where you can download the tab, so make sure you click or tap on it. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. One more thing, I would love to know, what would you like me to teach you in my next lesson? Thank you so much for watching. <music>